So how is it possible that a gorgeous, voluptuous actress and a wacky avant-garde composer invented Wi-Fi? In 1941, they met at a party and they flirted shamelessly. As Hetty was leaving, she scrolled her phone number in red lipstick on George Antel's car windshield. They both wanted to make a contribution to the war effort. They were both upset and they had an idea. Hetty wasn't just a pretty face. She even had her own chemistry lab for doing experiments between film tanks. George was known as the bad boy of music. Antel lived in Paris as a young man. So did I. His concerts were scandalous. He played crazy music. It was wonderful. Everybody loved him. But he wasn't just an avant-garde composer. He was also an amateur scientist himself. And he was an expert on player pianos. So player pianos? What's the point? Why? Now your pianos, it's digital. On, off, on, off. Little holes, paper. Little holes, paper. That's what it is. It's digital. Hetty had been married to a munitions dealer in Austria, and she knew about a problem that the Nazis were exploiting. When American submarines sent radio directions to their torpedoes, they were easy to block because it was always on the same frequency. Once you knew the frequency, you could jam and block the torpedo. But what if the signal kept changing frequencies? Imagine that you have two player pianos here and here, torpedo, submarine, each playing the same piece of music. That's called frequency hopping because the notes keep changing, the frequencies keep changing. Imagine that the music is Beethoven's fifth. Ba -da -da -da. The Germans know the tune, so they can block the torpedo. What if it's weird avant-garde music like George Antile? Nobody knows the tune. Imagine Belly Mechanic. Germans don't know the tune. They can't block the torpedo. They don't know the frequency. It's frequency hopping. Ah, uh, it wasn't that simple. You can't actually put a player piano inside a torpedo or inside a submarine. There are too many vibrations. The whole thing will explode. It's not going to work. But the idea was good. And Hetty and George donated it to the American military. And then the American military classified it and forgot about it. Antal died, Hetty grew old and bitter, but then suddenly, transistors made the possibility of doing it without mechanics and rather with electronics. And then the whole thing made sense. Spent spectrum, Wi-Fi, cell phones, everything, all comes from that invention. So watch the movie tonight on PBS. It's called Hetty Lamar Bombshell. I'm in it, of course, playing the piano and talking about torpedoes. My takeaway from this, never underestimate an artist. Not a beautiful one like Hetty, not an ugly one like George. You want more about crazy American music? Listen to my podcast every Friday night on iTunes, American Highways.